Okay, we're going to go over uh, rehabs for three tendons today. Uh, basically, a new idea for tendon rehab. The idea is that we want to train the healthy portions of the tendon to take pressure off the damaged portion of the tendon. So the three we're going to go over is Achilles, patellar, and lateral elbow. The basic idea is this, is that it used to be the case that a lot of therapists would say that you needed to go up and slowly descend down to apply a centric loading on the, on the tendon. But it's our stance that we don't want to necessarily tension the damaged fibers in that way, that we'd rather strengthen the healthy fibers to take pressure off the damaged fibers. So that way you can run and play tennis and do whatever you want without any discomfort. It can be a, almost immediate. So the idea is this, we're gonna hold a posture on a tendon for 45 seconds, five times throughout the day. So for some reason that tends to be the variable of, of stress that, that is needed. So if we're going after the Achilles, say this left Achilles, we're gonna apply, we're gonna rock up to a point that we feel some discomfort in the Achilles. And then we hold that for 45 seconds. And then we'll do that five times throughout the day. But if I don't feel any discomfort in this position, I can apply a little bit more stress with my body weight, or I can obviously get to a point where we go over to a wall and we apply a little bit more stress. But again, I'm gonna rock up to a point that I'm applying stress on that tendon, hold it for 45 seconds, and then over the course of that 45 seconds, you, you should feel the tendon pain improve. So basically, arbitrarily, say I had left Achilles pain, I rock up, I feel a five out of 10 pain. I'm like, wow, I mean, that really burns. I hold it for 45 seconds and it goes down to a zero out of 10. That is an optimal loading, that's what we want. So it's a little bit difficult to assess, but that's basically how it should progress. It shouldn't get worse, in other words. So if we're doing the Achilles, that's one way we can do it. Obviously, I can add a weight. So say I grab a kettlebell, and add a weight, you know, I can load it all sorts of different ways. The next would be maybe, uh, the, let's do the patellar tendon. So we can go into what's called a Spanish squat, where we can add a band to apply some tension. So basically you can anchor it to a solid structure and <clears throat> hop on in. And basically here we'll kind of go down to a squat where we're feeling tension being pulled this way, where the patellar tendon is being loaded a little bit. This is actually a little bit supportive to the tendon. So this would be kind of where you'd start. If you get here and you're like, yeah, I don't really feel anything, then <clears throat> you would progress to maybe something where we call like a wall sit where you go to the wall and you're here and you should feel tension on the tendon. Uh, if you don't, then you can even go to a single leg. But either way, you wanna feel pain in the tendon. And then again, you're gonna hold it for 45 seconds. So obviously we could advance and grab a kettlebell or some weight as well to kind of advance that. But the basic idea is that, I mean, you're gonna be here for a while, so you can do a lot of things. You can play violin, you can do all sorts of things. But basically, you want to load the tendon as much as you can, okay? So then, the last one we're going to head to is a one for the elbow. Very, very common with tennis players, golfers, all sorts of people that are going to do a little bit of that wrist motion. So basically, the idea here is we're going to grab a little bit of a weight, and then we're going to load it in such a way that we're going to take, uh, you're going to feel some pain in that tendon. And you're gonna hold it for 45 seconds. So this one's super easy. If you don't have a weight like this, grab like a soup can or you know a bottle of sorts or something like that to just load it. But but either way, you're just gonna hold pressure for 45 seconds five times throughout the day. It doesn't have to be consecutive. It doesn't have to be like rest and then wait a minute and then do it again. You can like do it sporadically throughout the day because again, tendons respond to stress consistently throughout the day, not necessarily in a small frame of time. But obviously that's okay if you only have a small frame of time. But either way, you can get creative with this and there's multiple tendons in the body. And so kind of figure out a maneuver that loads it and irritates it, but improves over the hold for 45 seconds. That's the basic concept.